Welcome back to Killing Stalking, Missing a Fan Game. In the last episode, we drank bleach and fucking died. So we're gonna try to not do that in this episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game. We're in the club. We know the deal. Awkwardly one side of the room. Friends dragged you to a party. But we're gonna choose some different stuff, okay? Few dozen people milling around, pouring drinks. Night is still young. Everyone's trying to get a feel. Music drums, erratic snapshots of color. You wonder where you're gonna spend the rest of your night at the club as you see a man saying woo, standing at you, staring at you from across the party. And then this music plays, and then everybody gets fucking triggered. <clears throat> as soon as your eyes meet, he approaches you, he smiles, and walks. Here is um Lord Fuckface. I present to you Lord Fuckface. Okay. Hey, why aren't you getting any drinks? Wanna have some with me? And now we're gonna say because we're actually trying to get him to love us, okay? So... I would say... You know what? We're gonna be mean. We're gonna be mean. None of your business. You huff. It's none of your business. I don't even know you. The man's brows furrows. Is he worried or annoyed? Whoa. Is there something bothering you? Ooh, ooh! You know what? You are, you are. Your your eyes narrow at him. To be honest, you're kind of bothering me right now. So please, just you freeze. Oh no! The look the stranger gives you is almost murderous. Eerily enough, the dark look vanishes as quickly as it appears. The stranger flashes you an apologetic smile. You don't believe it for once. Oh, what? What? You don't believe it for one second. I see. Sorry about that. I'll be going. You have a good night. Oh no, oh, no he's gonna come get us! Oh no, I hate this! You have a few drinks, but mostly keep to yourself. Shortly before midnight, you decide to head home. Is that him up there? Is that that guy? There's like two guys. The night air is cold and you wrap your thin jacket close around your body. Then, out of nowhere, a shiver runs up your spine. You spin around hard drumming, an unsteady beat in your chest. Nobody is there. That's weird. When you finally get home, you have the most unsettling feeling that you just barely escaped some unspeakable terror. What? What? Wait a second. Really? Really? Okay, we're going we're going back in uh, saying woo, hello. Um okay, instead of saying we're gonna say no thanks, I'm take or no no uh none of, none of your business. Right? Okay, we're angry. And I'm gonna say yeah. To be honest, yeah. You see, parties aren't really my scene. This is better. Same actually. Wait! I lived! I mean I okay, I technically lived, but the point of it is, I want to get Sangwu to spare my life, okay? I mean, I, I did live. I did live, granted. It was it didn't feel very good, though. It wasn't a good win, so we're going to continue. Same, actually. Do you think you could keep me company for a while, then? You fiddle with the hem of your t-shirt. I guess. My friends kind of ditched me. If this isn't me at every single party I've ever been to. Not the best kinds of friends, in my opinion, to leave someone like you. The expression on his face looks so genuine. You smile and chuckle quietly. <laughs> no, it's fine. They're having fun. And besides, you're keeping me company. They're lucky to have you, but we should make them regret leaving you behind. You decide to tease him a bit. I don't know. How do I know you're not some kind of psychopathic killer? Hmm, what if I am? You laugh and nudge his shoulder. What a funny... What a funny joke! What a what a joke! What a what a what a funny goof! What a what a funny gaff! So funny! Such a good joke! Such a good joke! Well, if you're a killer, then I'm one too. Really now? He smiles and comes in close to whisper in your ear. You shudder. Actually, I'm secretly a serial killer. I'm actually looking for a victim tonight. You burst out in laughter, and so does he. Ah! I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's just a goop. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Oh my god. <laughs> he's 
pretty funny. Funny and kind of sort of attractive. You smile broadly at him. Enter name here. We are gonna be Tiffany, cause Tiffany is a girly name. And I wanna be a different victim tonight, okay? Maybe he likes Tiffany more than Sharon. I'm Tiffany. And all guys, any of you, if you're named Tiffany, you may be a really nice girl, but all of the Tiffany's I've ever met are rude. So if she dies, I'm not gonna be that mad. I'm saying woo, so what do you say? The charming smiley flashes makes you melt. Fine, what did you have in mind? He leads you towards the small crowd sat in a booth. With a smile and easy gait, he manages to weave his way to the front. But the game begins. Here we go, here we go, five minutes in. As time passes, you start to feel the effect of one too many shots of soju. Or was it beer? At this point, you didn't know or care. Okay, so we're getting drunk. He envelops you, breathing in a cement. You smile dopely at him. Hee <laughs> hee, you're so warm, saying woo. Okay, we did this. Are you all right? Then he takes us back to a house. Yeah, okay. He takes us back to his house. <laughs> Fucking creeper. Fucking creeper. Creeper. Here we go. We're going to Sangwoo's basement. <sighs> I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. It's cold. Blah, blah, blah. Rope. Kidnapped. Da, 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 da. Hello. Hello. Anyone help me? God. Finally. You're finally awake. Okay, so he's coming down the steps. Laugh softly. Time to play. Chapter one, the beginning of a nightmare. So we're in it to win it, you guys. We're in it to win it. Your heartbeat starts to pick up as the apprehension within you grows. What? What the hell is going on? His footsteps going. Okay, so he's bringing something with him. Okay, it's the sledgehammer. Ah, Tiffany. And we're gonna say, we want him to love us. Okay, so we're gonna say, Sangwoo, is that you? Please help me, please. Somehow he finds walking towards you with slow, purposeful strides. You knew that helping was the farthest thing from his mind. Good morning. Sangwoo, help these ropes. Oh no, you stay right where you are. He's gonna break our legs. Sangwoo, try not to bite yourself. Ah! Wah! He's gonna break our other leg. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, hello. We can see now, yay! I don't want to be able to see though. I don't want to be able to see. Da -da 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 -da. Sledgehammer, please say woo, please. Yeah, I know, be patient. You whimper in pain, blah, da -da -da -da. He's gonna break my leg again. Here we go. Fantastic. Yet again. Number three. Pain, pain, pain. A cold and callous hand touched the thigh. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna spit at his hand. We're going to obey and look. Dazed, you comply. Your face contorts with horror. Are these my legs? Oh, did you take anatomy? You don't answer. Probably not. Mm, well, with the wooden end of his sledgehammer, he prods your open wound. No, please don't. Well, that right there. <laughs> Sorry guys, is your so if you dig deeper, the scream you release sounds almost primal to your ears as he digs the handle further into your wound. The bone it'll hit will be the tibia, tibialis tibia. Do you understand? Saying who looks at you expectantly while you try to distract yourself from the pain. I said understood. Uh. Uh. The handle hits the bone. Yes, please, I understand, I understand. Sangwoo gets up with his sledgehammer in tow. He climbs up the stairs, not sparing you a glance. Hmm, maybe I'll eat some bed later, maybe noodles. It's like a child's gotten bored of his toy for the day. When uh, while his back is turned, you desperately look, look around. There must be something, anything. Do you want me to blind you too? You freeze, pinned by his glare, squats in front of you. Ow, he's choking me, question mark. If you try to escape, I will make your death as slow and as painful as I can. He lets go over your chin and leaves to get up. You lick your lips, trembling. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Um, we're gonna choose something different instead of I liked you because, but should we choose I like you? Because that won't, we're trying to live. We're trying to live. We're just gonna. 
I'm going to remain silent. Sangwoo seems to wait for you to say something, but you don't. He makes a face as if you say to suit yourself and shrugs. He climbs the stairs, throwing only a single cold glance back at you. Closes the door and leaves you in pitch black darkness. We're in the dark. Careful, careful now. Okay, so we made it to chapter two. You don't know how many hours or days or weeks. There's no way to tell the time, no window, no clock. And all you have is a growing sense of hunger and your parts up. Pain in your legs, as long as you don't move. When the basement door flies, yeah, you lift your head. Okay, cool. Here we are. Here we are. Here we go. The small slice of light hurts your eyes for a while, then it's gone. Sangwoo is back. Makes his leisurely way down the steps, watching you. He smiles. Long time no see. How have you been? Uh, 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 I missed you. You lick, you lick your cracked lips and try to smile. I missed you. The words that leave your mouth shock you. Did I really just say that? Chuckles. Are you retarded? No. Came down here for change of pace. Unaware of the way things are. Yanks you pose by your hair. I can do whatever I want with you. I can kill you quickly or I can do it as slowly and agonizingly as I want. Which do you prefer? His foot. He's shoving his foot in his mouth. We're hungry. He goes to get food. He's going to get food, he's going to get food, he's going to get food, he's going to get food. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so the right thing is we probably should wait for him because he'll get mad if we do anything else. But part of me wants to see what happens if I call for him. Okay, this one we're going to try not to get killed. And later on, if you guys want to see it, we'll... We'll play one where we try to get every single death that you can get. So for now, we're going to wait patiently. He must have dropped the screwdriver there on purpose. He doesn't want us to touch anything. He'll get mad. You try. Will your heart to calm down? You end up examining your legs. Blah, blah, blah. They look like potatoes. The hatch opens and Sangwoo appears in. Still alive. Ha ha. Funny joke. Okay. Here he comes down. He's holding breakfast. He stays before you. Canned food. Stomach trumps. You're starving. Open up and be good, okay? And now he's going to shove it in his face. And then shove it in your face. So here we go. He's eating the food. Now, okay. We are going to chew and swallow. Texture to chew meat with saliva is disgusting. Enough to make you want to spit it out. But you are all too grateful for the food. Just bear with it for now. Someone must be looking for me. You chew it and swallow almost so fast that you choke a bit, coughing. Good, keep eating like that. Sangwoo sounds almost impressed. You start to preen at his near compliment, but you catch yourself. What the hell? It's almost as if I want him to like me. Or is it? You're not so sure. At this point, you're not sure of anything except your most primal need of thirst and hunger. Sangwoo no longer puts the meat in his mouth to feed you. He hands you the can and watches you silently. When you eye him questioningly, he just nods. You try to pace yourself, but you ended up wolfing it all down within minutes. You dig your fingers on the sharp edges of the open can. You don't feel it, nor do you notice the blood running down your palm until you're licking them clean. For a while, Sangwoo stares at you as if studying you. His expression is indecipherable, but you feel yourself drawn in by his eyes. Drawn in by... Drawn in and terrified by what you see, because you see nothing at all. He stands up, throwing aside the tin can of food, and leaves the basement without a word. You watch him leave, then drag yourself toward the discarded can, hoping there is still edible meat within. You lay there, watching cockroaches flit past, picking up microscopic bits of food you must have dropped. Somewhere in the corner, you see scuttering movement. Rats, maybe? You don't care. You don't care about anything at all. Even the pain that used to feel like imminent death is only a memory. What happens next, you cannot predict at all. The hatch opens. I'm coming to bring you up. Yes! Yes! He's bringing us up! He's bringing us up! Oh, we're getting there. We're going. Sangwood drags you up to the hatch. You have no time to celebrate. You whimper and cry. Okay, so it's the same thing. Same thing. We're going up to the upstairs. It's brighter, dimly lit though. Is this heaven? Sangwoo, it hurts. Sangwoo narrows his eyes in disbelief. Of course it hurts. That's the point. You're so stupid. Okay, so he's coming closer. I'm going to say we kiss him. I'm going to say we kiss him. I don't like the noise that plays, but I'm going to say we kiss him. You're acting. Is that a yes or a no? I would never lie to you. So, we're going to kiss him. Hey. Okay, Sangwoo pushes you away. He's surprised. He's confused. You're insane. You don't respond. A strange mix of desire and desperation. All you want to do right now is kiss him. You lick your lips. 
Okay, you're out of your fucking mind, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna take a bath. And we feel so lovely against his chest. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. You sleepy, Tiffany? Oh, I'm sorry. Does don't pass out on me. If you guys haven't seen the first episode and you're wondering why I'm skipping all this, because I read all this already. The both of you under the dimly lit bathroom places you inside the bathtub. You stare at him, confused at what to do, saying we reaches for the shower head and turns it on. I'm really surprised by the way these artists got his expression so like right like because in the in the comic he always looks really strange with his expressions like they don't look like normal expressions like they don't correspond with his emotions really and this I'm seeing a lot of that where it's very unexpected at which I like it feels very like the comic okay so I he's showering me and there's no heater so he's giving me shampoo and I guess in my eye and he wipes it off of my eye, and he's all like, Ugh, how does that hurt you after all I've done to you? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is the real winner. We're not going to kiss him this time, because last time we kissed him, we got bleach shoved down our throat, so we're not going to kiss him. He's finishing a sentence. No, what the hell is wrong with me? Your tears slide down your cheek, blending in perfectly with the shower water as you feel your mind split in two. Panic creeps its way into your heart and squeezes you until you can't breathe. Am I falling in love with him? Is this what they call Stockholm Syndrome? You look away from saying woo, your meager attempt to stop whatever feelings were developing inside of you. Slowly, you can feel your sanity crumbling away into ashes as you try to make sense of your feelings. What the fuck is wrong with you? He drugged you. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. This is a very long episode, but we're gonna keep going. You wince. He kidnapped you. Your fist clenches even tighter. He hurts you. You stare at your battered legs. Why the fuck do I feel this way, Tiffany? Tiffany, what the fuck? Hey! In your state, you didn't notice that the shower is off. The sangue is cupping your face. That you were shaking uncontrollably. Saying, what the fuck happened to you? You spaced out and started shaking all of a sudden. You said that saying was in the bathtub, his body now wet and pants clinging onto his body. Tiffany, hey, what's wrong? You feel warmth in your chest at his concerned tone. He cares about me. Your eyes slit down to look at his lips again. saying smiles. No! You scramble away from saying bare your teeth at him. Stay the fuck away from me, you monster. What? Come on! Uh, I didn't say that! She said that! Uh, I, uh, <sighs> now we're gonna die. Sangwoo's arms lay suspended from where you held to lay slower, lower to his sides. You two stare at each other in shock, in shock your chest heaving as you try to calm yourself. Sangwoo starts chuckling quietly. Monster, huh? I Okay, I didn't say that. I would not have chose that. If that's what don't kiss him, see, kiss him killed us. Don't kiss him is now probably going to kill us because she said that, not me. The smiley flashes could be considered charming. He flashes you a charming smile. It could be considered charming, and guess what? It's charming. Before moving towards you, his movement slow and deliberate. Get away from me! I hate you! See, I didn't say that! I didn't say that. Hey, you and I both know that's not true. A sinister grin that's... Now we're gonna die! Didn't think I could tell you wanted me? You begin to tremble violently when he straddles your legs and leans in your faces are inches apart. I'm not stupid. I can see when you blush. Oh, maybe, maybe. Brushes your... Oh, he's kissing us now! Okay, you shiver. Just chuckling, saying Wu pulls away. And I can see that you want to kiss me, you fucking pervert. I I hate you. Yeah, I know. And that's what makes this boring now. He sighs sadly, and things were just getting interesting too. Uh, see, uh, he's going to kill us now. <sighs> now we're going to die. We're Here we go. <sighs> How's he going to kill us this time? Oh, we're in his room. You are, you're already festering leg oozes more blood and throbs to the beat of your raging heart. Each and every step down the basement is torture. Oh, okay, we're good. We're in the basement. Finally releases his hold on you and you fall pathetically onto the floor. Gross, your hair came off. When you turn to look at him, chunks of your hair lay on his palm before he wipes it away. He smirks at you. With a shuddering breath, you mutter, I hope you burn in hell. He throws his head back in laughter. He makes his way to the basement hatch and gets out. Sangwoo spares you one final look before damning you to darkness. Sure, but not before you do. 
The click of the basement lock is deafening. Time passes you by unwittingly. Sangwu no longer returns to feed you or bathe you. He hasn't cleaned up your messes either. You lie in your own waste like an animal. But at least you're alive. The hatch opens. You're too weak to get up. Your arms and legs have practically shriveled up by now. I heard a woman. I heard a woman. D is there another woman? You turn your head slightly. <gasps> a woman is lying prone beside you. She has long blonde hair and a mole on the bridge of her nose. Her makeup is heavy and unbecoming. Her painted nails are broken and dirty. Sangwu appears in your vision. He flashes you an almost gentle smile. Hey, long time no see. You open and close your mouth, but your lips are so dry they crack and bleed at the slightest moment. Sangwu is holding a knife. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. You were just... You were being too good. He shakes his head. Don't get me wrong, you weren't that boring. You... I just feel sorry for you, actually. You try to speak, but no words escape you. So this is goodbye. He pauses. And thanks, I guess. He presses the knife against your throat and cuts clean through. Almost like a knife against butter. Chalk seizes your body that it feels just like... It feels like pinching. Droplets of blood fly from your mouth when you laugh, while the rest of your body oozed from the open wound on your throat. <sighs> your vision fades, your smile remains. Sangwu smiles back. The image ingrains itself into the backs of your eyelids, and it is the last thing you see and remember. That is really sad. Was it mocking? Was it ingratitude? You don't know, but at least you are finally free. Two weeks later. So there's a thing that plays. I'm guessing there's a thing that plays here that I need to wait to listen to. We interrupt your regular broadcast to bring you another update on the missing persons report. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> anyone, anyone has seen my best friend? So that was it. That was all that I missed the first time. Well, we died yet again. And this episode was really freaking long. I apologize. I thought... <sighs> we died again. And you want to know why? Because she said he was a fucking monster. And I wouldn't have picked that. I don't know. I just chose not to kiss him. That doesn't mean I don't want to kiss him. Just because you look at a donut and say, I don't want to eat that donut right now because... I know it's not good for me. That doesn't mean you want the donut. You want the donut. You just can't have the donut because you know what's good for you. That's the end of this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And let me know if you like these. Uh, bye.